I'm here with Matt Wheeler, um, singer-songwriter from Lancaster County, PA. And uh, were you nom- what were you nominated for this, this year? It was the uh, folk storytellers category and also oh, yeah. the uh, Christmas covers category. Yeah, that, the Christmas covers was a new one. I, I wasn't expecting that one, but uh, that was a pretty cool category. And you got to also perform live. Brand new song, and it was sort of funny because you you made the comment that it was so new that you didn't really know it that well. And the lyrics are scrolling behind you, and the people are trying to sing along, and you're you were flubbing the lyrics, but they were they were correcting you as you were singing. It was like a couple of, a couple of points there, yeah. Like I maybe turning around would have made it easier on yeah. that, but but no, I mean, but it was great. Like uh, I encourage everyone to clap along, and they they were right there for it. You got you had them on two and four. It was yes, yes, and it was you know it was like in the last hour or so, which that's asking a lot. But uh, yeah, everyone was everyone was very gracious, and, and it was a good time. It's a little shot of energy. Yeah, it was. It was like a, a nice breath of fresh air, and you got the the crowd like reinvigorated and uh, rolled them along. And yeah, it's just great to see you again. And um, what what's new for you? I, I haven't been following you too much lately. You're still with the Vintage Heart. Yeah. So well, <laughs> technically yes, but uh, so Caleb, our uh, our violinist, moved to uh, to Georgia. Now has three kids as well. Uh, he and his wife too. So, yeah. So basically, like we kind of all went and so, like, like our drummer still lives nearby where I'm at, but otherwise, it's mostly playing solo. Uh, but occasionally, I'll play with one of the other, one or two of the guys. But uh, yeah, mostly it's it, it it's the Matt Wheeler part of Matt Wheeler and the charts. But it's always been like the solo project that wasn't really solo. Um, so you know, life circumstances. But yeah. So um, as far as what's next, uh, so I released an album called Wonder of It All in 21, um, and it was based on classic works of literature like like the hobbit and the little prince and watership down and horse and his boy and orthodoxy that's all of them actually and uh but but this this time around uh in i'm looking at a september release date for uh an album called a hard history of love um the the song that i played um the way we are is is based on that and actually the the chorus is um the first part of the chorus is is a direct quote from wendell berry um because like all of the songs are based off short stories by Wendell Berry, which I understand is like really niche, but 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 it makes for like really good like they're really rich stories. So so they make for good songs as well. Um, and this one this one that I played today was based on uh, based on this quote one of the characters says about how you know we're members of each other, all of us, everything, you know, and, and basically the difference isn't in who is and who isn't, but who knows and who doesn't. So um, so so the song is a little it's. Most of those songs like tell a scene from a story or several scenes. This one is basically like just focusing on that idea of how important, like God designed us to need each other. You know, He provides for us. Part of His provision is fellow believers and uh, you know the people around us. So, so yeah, that's that's what that song's about. And um, I'll probably be running a Kickstarter before long. I'm still working on that uh, and got almost final mixes for most of the songs and stories. Um, so it's gonna be good. That's that's what's coming up next. I miss the old concert window thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Online. Well, yeah, that's true. And the concert window folded in like September of nineteen, so it was like right before everyone was streaming online. Um, but yeah, I used to do a monthly concert there, and it was fun. And it also pushed me to like, like I would I would do themes, and like you know I'd I'd learn a cover I didn't know before. You know, someone would request a song, and I'd you know figure it out, or I'd do a mashups one where I made some new mashups. It's like it was just fun, but. Um, yeah, I mean, but then like I think most of us got kind of burned out on the uh, on online concerts because it, it, dur- during the worldwide event that shall not be named um, from about twenty one to twenty, mostly that first part of twenty twenty, well spring into summer, like most of us musicians are like, oh, we'll just go ahead and play online; it'll be just as good. And then it turns out like like it was good to some extent; it was something rather than nothing. But it, yeah. So so I kind of missed online concerts. But it's, it's it's nice when I do play for it to be in front of people who are ideally people who are listening. Like I play mostly house concerts and concerts in churches these days. Um, so yeah, like the interaction and the storytelling, like that's so much of what I do. And uh, you know, like I just said, we need each other. So it's encouraging to play for people who are paying attention. I mean, they're paying a valuable asset. <laughs> like yeah, you know, we know that like social media companies and. Like there, and ad agencies are like are, are feuding for people's attention, right. but it's like it, it's such a valuable thing and to, to to give that to another person for even a little while is just a really meaningful thing to do. So, so that said, like you probably won't find me playing Tom Petty covers in the corner of restaurants these days, but but house concerts, 
Yeah, like where it's you know, really connecting over art and uh, you know, fostering that community like God intended for us. That's what I do. You had a guy overseas. Was his, what was his name? Manny or something like that? What? Oh, Menno. Menno. Yeah, Menno. Menno yeah. Peters. Yeah, we're still we're still emailing pen, pen pals. Um, actually, he wrote me not long ago, and I need to write him back. But he, he used to sit in one of those concert windows or the the. Yeah, the concert window th- series, and what country was he from? But he was on every time. Yeah, he's he's from Amsterdam, uh, from from the Netherlands, which yeah. that, Amsterdam is not a country, but yes, right, right, right. the Net, yeah, Holland, the Netherlands, whatever you like to call it. Um, yes, yeah, so we've actually stayed in touch, and so uh, so whenever the, the Kickstarter goes live, I'm certainly going to be letting him know about it. And um, anyway, yeah, so that was a cool connection. Like he's just someone who watched a lot of concert window concerts, happened upon one of mine, and then just kept coming back. Um, just really cool yeah it's not a connection that i orchestrated in any sense at all <laughs> um just welcomed him in virtually when he would tune in and and he just kept coming back and um it's a, cool. such a cool connection and that he stuck with you yeah so um where can people find you online um in terms of like your new stuff uh, i know you have several different kind of like iterations like you said the solo stuff you have vintage heart um do you still do august to october or is that defunct now it's it's funny you would ask that because actually we're once i get in my car after i leave here and we're going to an event called the unger games my friend mark unger is was is another is another one quarter of the band august october um he and his family for years have well he had an interruption but it's back this year where um where they, they do like games and a cookout, and they call it the Hunger Games, for obvious reasons. Right, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, then the uh, so that's actually where I'm going after this, uh, and just, actually just Mark, it's gonna be Mark and I as a duo this year because neither of the other guys could could join us this time. But yeah, so so there's that. As far you, to your original question was where you, you can find my music. It's uh, so Matt Wheeler Online.com, um, as well as like if you look up Matt Wheeler VH for Vintage Hearts on Instagram and. Uh, yeah, you know, Facebook. I'm not hard to find. Like, look for, well, look for a beard, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and, and and you know, songs like "Wonder of It All" and "The Way We Are Again" is one of the new ones. Um, I do a cover series called uh, the Black and White series, which actually the nomination for the Christmas cover was the in- installation from that where I did "Oh Come All You Faithful." So, so YouTube, if you look up Matt Wheeler. Or I think August, October, you could find it that way, too. But Matt Wheeler, Black and White Series, you'll find a wide range of stuff that I've covered. Um, actually, yeah, so, so I covered Stand By Me this month. I'm thinking of covering the Carmen Sandiego, Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego theme song next month, just because. Um, I did one of mashups. Uh, I did a Christmas song, as I mentioned. Like, it's it's all over the place, but it's a lot of fun. So, didn't you you did a cover of um, I'd Like to Visit the Moon? Yeah. So so I don't I don't want to live on the moon. The the, yeah, the Ernie song from right. I couldn't remember the name of it, but I remember that from Sesame. Street. Yeah. So that one I uh, I released that um, not this year but last year. Um, recorded that with Stephen Courtney, a friend from back in Lancaster County, yeah. and uh, and then this year I actually recorded um, one of my. One of my favorite song, I think maybe the best song from the Muppet movie, um, I, um, which is I'm going to go back there someday. Is that Gon- Gonzo's song? Gonzo's song, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, Rainbow Connection is good. Moving right along is a ton of fun, yeah. but like, but there's something about that one. Like, I don't think that the songwriters were were talking about heaven or the new creation, but it sure seems like it's pointing that direction. Mm-hmm. Like, like if you go back and listen to that song, so. Yeah, I felt inspired. Long, another long story goes with that as far as why I recorded it. But, um, but yeah, basically that's that, that's something I released uh, this calendar year. So I didn't think to mention that, but yes, that's <laughs> that is. Uh, uh, so you look at Matt Wheelie. Like I don't know if I'm gonna do like a Muppets cover album, but I'm, I'm t- <laughs> but I'm two songs into it if I decide I want to. So. You totally should do that. <laughs> that could be fun. There's there's a lot of material out there, yeah. but. Hope that something better comes along. Yeah, or uh, what song from Right Where I Belong from uh, Muppets Take Manhattan? Oh, yeah. I'm right where I belong. That one. A, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could could rock that one. But anyway, so yeah, it's it. I wouldn't say there's been like a really linear path for like what I'm going to release and write. Like, there's the albums which are based on classic works of literature generally, and then there's like this like I record singles in between. It's just like whatever, whatever you know, the inspiration has been. You know, God opens the door. Like. The thing with yeah, I wasn't planning to cover a Gonzo song, but <laughs> but uh, like th- there's a part in it where he, say, where he says um, um, it's a um, there's not a word yet for old friends who just met, um, which is a beautiful concept. And I was attending this faith and arts conference called Hutchmoot, and uh, I think I guess randomly, probably providentially, 
played that song on my drive and then like that line just kept coming back because it, it was this conference most people I hadn't met in person ever before yeah. but I but it felt like we were old buddies mm-hmm. and uh, so, so there was a real connection especially in the body of Christ there's you know we have that common bond at kindred awards to bring it back to that yeah. um, the community around it like there's there's a common bond even if we've not met in person um, or if we're just meeting for the first time it's like we already have something really foundational that uh, we can relate to together so so yeah that's uh, I, I forget now what question I was answering just there but yeah that <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> yeah you got thank thank you again Matt Wheeler it's always great to talk to you great to see you again and um, everybody check him out online um, he's got like he says a plethora of music on all different topics sure. stuff on classics stuff on classic um, Muppets yeah. and uh, looking yeah, forward to all, all the stuff you have coming forward thanks thanks Absolutely. Matt